News earlier this month that a group of residents in Okinawa Prefecture in Japan have called for the Southern Islands' independence and may have made some headlines in Asia and further afield. But nowhere has the uh, movement been more warmly welcomed, at least officially, than in China. Japanese media reports uh, that the Okinawan independence activists have established an organization under the island's historical name of Ryukyu. Uh, the Ryukyu Islands were once an independent kingdom but were annexed by Japan in the 19th century. The US administered the island for 27 years following the end of World War II and many uh, Okinawans, there are 1.3 million in the population, uh, are tired of the concentration of US military bases in their islands. And now articles in China's state-owned media, especially the People's Daily and the Global Times, have offered at least tacit support for Okinawan independence on several occasions. The gist of the articles is that the time has come to rediscuss the Ryukyu Islands issue and they call for civil support for the Ryukyu National Independence Research Society in Okinawa. Uh, that's an organization that was set up in mid-May. Uh, this line in the government-owned press, obviously, has resulted in uh, plenty of questions and some accusations that China is actually behind the movement, but representatives of the research center recently denied this. So, how do Chinese net users view this embryo independence campaign? Well, to hear uh, some of the online discussion, let's now join our researcher Esther Dung in the newsroom. First off, Esther, uh, how much do Chinese net users know uh, about Okinawa and the situation there? Well, based on the comments I've seen, uh, Okinawa, which is actually better known as uh, Ryukyu in China, is certainly not something new. Uh, in fact, political posters quite openly claim it's not only not a Japanese, but is a part of China. Uh, slogans like Okinawa belongs to China are posted all over the online community. Uh, but there are also a certain number of posters who are a little more cautious about this simplistic view, uh, like this one from Hangzhou. I have to say, so many people know so little about history. In history, Ryukyu was nothing but a vassal state of China. It never belonged to China. And Waimenhuiguisilingbu uh, on Tiexue.net also refers to historical background. Uh, the Okinawa Islands issue should have been settled after World War II. The U.S. mentioned several times about the transferring this area to China. But Chiang Kai-shek refused because he had to prepare for the civil war. That's why the dispute over the area exists till today. Uh, and uh, as for Okinawa independence, well, Post's opinions also vary a lot. Uh, some think that's good news for China, like Zhiai uh, Jiahe Guo, who says, I support the idea of establishing a republic of uh, Okinawa so that it can become a buffer area between China and Japan. And others disagree, but only because they feel that's too conservative. Uh, this is on ATSU.net. Uh, the independence of Okinawa does no good to China. It will block our development in the ocean. The best solution is we take it back. Now, uh, at least in China, the, the independence or, or the, the separation of Okinawa is something that has been discussed from time to time. But why do you think net users uh, feel it's become such a big deal recently? Uh, based on what I've seen, the main reason posters here believe is Okinawa people's increasing disappointment with both the U.S. and the Japanese governments. Uh, China uh, Economic Weekly magazine published an article, and uh, part of the reads, um, of all the U.S. military bases in Japan, 74% are located in Okinawa, and 11% of the Okinawa is taken up with U.S. military bases. In recent years, cases where U.S. soldiers have raped local young girls, killed people, and caused traffic accidents after drunk driving are all too common in Okinawa. But the U.S. has turned a blind eye. That has encouraged the Okinawa people to call for independence. Well, as we've seen, uh, Chinese state-owned newspapers, essentially the voice of the government, certainly don't seem uh, averse to offering support uh, for the Okinawa independence movement. Uh, what are net users' thoughts on this? Well, Post's opinions are clearly divided into two camps. Uh, one group, the majority actually, find no point in state media of doing so. Uh, for example, Da Chai He Niu has this rather ironic take. As media organizations, which often brag and boast, they attract close attention from the government and media outlets in and outside of China. This kind of bold-faced remarks on the Okinawa issue will only leave the international community the impression that China is aggressive. 
that really runs counter to the peaceful rise in power, the image China has long been promoting. And this poster, Bao Gua Wang, has other concerns. This will only irritate the Japanese people who probably will pressure their government to support the independence of Tibet, Xinjiang, and Taiwan. Uh, but the other group believes China is just using this opportunity to warn Japan against its tough stance over the Diaoyu Islands. Uh, that's a territorial dispute between China and Japan over a number of small islands at the end of the Ryukyu chain. Uh, this poster Zhang Shui Gao writes on his blog. When China says that it's time to revisit the Okinawa issue, doesn't mean it encourages its independence. It is giving a warning to Japan. China is trying to tell Japan to respect history and face up to reality and not to make trouble over the Diaoyu Islands. Otherwise, China will not give up on the Okinawa Islands issue, which is controversial anyway. Uh, but of course, there are also the more extreme groups who want more aggressive action from the Chinese government, like uh, Tsu Baozai on QQ.com, who says, China should provide money and arms to Okinawa secretly. After all, without the military support, any other support is useless. So Esther, how do, uh, how, what's the online feeling about U.S. reaction uh, to this? After all, the U.S. has a huge amount of bases on the island. Uh, well, it seems that many posters here think the U.S. will probably not oppose the Okinawa independence, but it won't withdraw its troops from there either. One typical example is this poster on China.com.cm. Uh, the Okinawa issue is just a point for the U.S. to counterbalance China and Japan. The U.S. will give a green light to Okinawa independence so that Japan won't go too far. But at the same time, the U.S. will make it clear that the prerequisite for the independence is to maintain their military bases there. That's the U.S. bottom line. Uh, and this poster on E23.cm has this to say. Many Japanese people think this U.S. military bases are a symbol that the U.S. is safeguarding Japan's national security. But for Okinawa people, they have no sense of being protected. Instead, they feel Okinawa could become a battlefield at any minute. Okay, finally, Esther, uh, how far do net users think this movement will go? Is there any chance of it succeeding? Well, political posters don't really think it's feasible. Uh, first, we have this comment on iPhone.com. Uh, currently, the campaign is only at a level of shouting slogans. Only a small group really supports the idea of independence. For lots of Okinawa people, they just want to get rid of the U.S. military bases, and this is a way of pressuring the Japanese government to do something. Uh, finally, we have this take on 50204.com, uh, which seems based more on practicality and uh, re realism than preference one way or another. It's impossible for Okinawa to be independent since it's been completely assimilated by Japanese culture. Okay, thanks for that, Esther. And that was China Take researcher Esther Dung with some online opinion to uh, that Okinawa independence movement and uh, some quite widespread support, both at official uh, and it seems at a popular level here in China. Next uh, up on China Take, some of the top trending phrases on China's most popular search engines.